Hey, Shalom. Shalom to the nation of Yada and Israel at this time. May the peace of y'all be reached and every one of your brothers and sisters at this time. I have a very important video to share with you. This is called Moshe tried to be the atonement for all your people because of their sins, brothers and sisters. But we have great trouble on this earth at this time, brothers and sisters. A lot of our people is misled. And I will tell you by who. I'll be our arch enemy, brothers and sisters, on earth. This little horn, brothers and sisters, that uh, came up with the New Testament and the lies. Because when you turn to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 43, and I'll be able to tell you, chapter 42 to 46, 48 to 49, tells you about the third temple. It describes it in great detail. And I'll be able to tell you there when he's going to come and take his seat forever and, and live amongst Israel, y'all forever, brother and sisters. And he tell you that the atonement going to be taking place. Yes, the, he said the Zadok priests, the sons of Zadok, will come and rededicate the altar. Come and make atonement because the children of Israel, y'all defiled the altar by all of their sins. That they brought upon the altar. He said the priests got to be atoned for. He said all the women of Israel y'all gonna have to be atoned for. And then all y'all said he's gonna accept this. And y'all can read this in the in the prophet book Ezekiel, chapter 43, brothers and sisters. 100 percent facts, the words of Yah for the future. And then we have the New Testament. They came up with and tell you this one came to die for your sins once and for all and stop and done away with the animal offerings once and for all. And also they say and you and you read in the book of in the book of the Hebrews in the New Testament, chapter ten, they tell you our sins was forgiven, and we became clean through that through that process, and we believe on Him. You all can go there and read all of these statements, brothers and sisters. But when you know the true history, what occurred to the Hebrew people, and how Abia punished them for all of their sins, he he stopped the Sabbaths. All the feast days, he stopped the offerings, and put us out of the land. All of these things, all of us were part of the curse, all the part of the promise of Yah, if we disobey him for a period of time. And then he said two-thirds are going to be killed by family sword. Then he said he's going he to take a third through the fire. Then he's going to bring them out. And clean them up. Bring them back home to clean them up, brothers and sisters. These are the words of Yah. Well, before I go any further, I want to read you what Moshe tried to do. In Exodus chapter 32, verse 28 to 35, Moshe wanted to be atonement and hear the words of Yah. Moshe was thinking in his mind that perhaps maybe he could go before Yah and make atonement for their sins. One thing you can learn about Abiyah, once Abiyah established something his way, nobody can never alter, not even the, the man he chose to lead his people to the promised land. When Abiyah words, he said the word will never turn back void. Once Abiyah promised something, the word will never change. When he made a commandment, like he even told Moshe, and we're going to get into that, brothers and sisters. And he even told us through Moshe and, and the prophet to remind him of things that he already said. But we can never alter none of your words, brothers and sisters. He went loud. So let's get into this right here. And actually, before I show you, I'll be our arch enemy and what he has done. And who wrote, and fan who wrote, the New Testament, and why? 
So first we're going to read Moshe, what he tempted to do, brothers and sisters. Chapter 32 of Exodus and verse 28, and it reads, and so the Levites, I'm going to try to get my uh, phone cam to zoom up. I'm reading this at this time from the New American Bible at this time. I'm just showing it because there's so many different translations, brothers and sisters. So let me get there real quick. Uh, 28 reads. Let's say the Levites... So the Levites carried out the commandments of Moshe, and that and, and that day there fell about three thousand of the people. Then Moshe said, "Today you have been dedicated to Yah, for you were against your own sons and kinsmen to bring a blessing upon yourself this day." Yes, it's even saying they killed the ones. So right here, in this translation, you can see they got an atonement. So let's read it. It's an atonement. On the next day, Moshe said to the people, you have committed a grave sin. He said, I will go up to Yah, then perhaps... I may be able to make atonement for your sins. You see that? You see, that's what the Moshe was thinking. He was telling the people, perhaps, maybe, I can make the atonement for your sins. So Moshe went back to y'all and said, oh, this... People has indeed committed a great sin in making a ale. See, they got God, but it's making an ale of gold for themselves. And if you will only forgive their sins, and if you will not then strike me out of the book that you have written. And Yah answered him only who has sinned against me will I strike out of my book. See, Moshe was asking to die. You know, well, take him out. Of, you know, take him out. I said no. Abiyah said no. Abiyah said no. It's right here. So let me get my place, brothers and sisters. He said no. I got to find my place again. My uh, brother came up to the car and kind of distracted me a little bit. So I said, he said, Abiyah said no. Let me find my place. If you will not Strike me out, cats, and y'all ask, I'll be asked, I'll be asked him only right here, 33. Y'all answer I can't, well, I'll read the rest. And so, I'll be asked him only who has sinned against me, I will strike out of my book. I was trying to get my monitor to start, but I couldn't find a place to look into the monitor. So, verse 34 reads, He said, Now go and lead the people what I have told you, and my mighty kings will go before you. When it is time for me to punish, I will punish them for their sins. Thus said Yah, smoke the people for having had earned, make the calf for, for them. You see that? I don't play around, brother and sister. He would not even set most shape as atonement for their sins. He's going to deal with it. He didn't even punish them. I tell you that because the same thing would occur to our ancestors, brothers and sisters. When they sinned against Abiyah, Abiyah wouldn't even accept the animal that he, he, he established for the atonement for their sins. He stopped the order that when they sins, 
and, t and he moved everybody. So you're going to punish. And so when that time came, he put the northern tribe out first. Then he put the southern tribe out last, which is Yada, the nation Yada, and then y'all mean and Levi, and the rest of them out for punishment. It said, and it said, it will be no more deliverers. No deliverer will come and save you. And to the day, we never had a deliverer to save us yet. Brothers and sisters, from our sins. And from our punishment. These are the facts of y'all. So I hope y'all stop these things, brothers and sisters. But to go a little further than that, to show you, I give you this example that this man attempted to try. Moshe. But I'll be out rejected that. I'll be out when I'll be out on play around, brothers and sisters. So when you go to the book of Dan, Danny, y'all, I'm trying to make this short as possible. But to the point. In the book of Danny, y'all, you can see in chapter 7, verse 25, it talks about the, uh, the, the little horn that came up from the fourth beast. And it reads, He would defy the most high, Marat. See? He opposed. Abiyah, -Ah, he rejects Abiyah -Ah in every way. This little horn. Hates Abiyah. -Ah. And wear down the chosen with persecution. You see that? What are we going through now with persecution? And try to change all laws, morals, and custom. It said, but our people would be helpless in his hand for three and a half years, for a period of time. You see that? Try to change. See, with this uh, instituting of the New Testament that they used some of the um, writings from the prophets and inserted in there with all of their falsification, fabrication, fairy tales. They came up with this concept of man savior, a man sin offering. Uh, Y'all stopped at all these things. He told them, I hate your feast through the prop mouths of the prophets. He said, I hate your Sabbath, your new moon. Anybody can go there and read that. He said, tell them it's imminent. I'm going to send them into punishment. And the one they love to follow is the one that's going to take them into slavery. They love us. The one they love to commit abomination with, brothers and sisters. That's what took place, and that's what the condition we are in now. We can't be saved and cursed at the same time. We can't be clean and have forgiveness and stand in punishment at the same time. It's impossible. I mean, I don't even work that way. Because when you read the whole, and you read in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, they tell you plainly that this one came and did away with atonement forever, the animal uh, offerings forever. If we believe in this one, we, we clean and our sins is forgiven. But the reality showed you, you are in punishment. Hebrew Israelites heard us say this all the time, but because they believe the other false part of the book too, they go right back and reject everything what they say about the curses. Think about this Israelite heritage. I'm bringing this to you in love, not in hatred to you, even though a lot of your people is mad at me now. But I got to tell the truth the words of Yah. Because Many organizations and leaders bring down our people by, by a mixture of truth and lie. But the words of Yah plainly tell you in the prophet book, Ezekiel chapter 33, 34, that Yah is going to reinstitute all these things, things again. The Sabbath, the new moon, the feast day, even he said, if Egypt don't come up, Mizraim don't come up to the feast, no rain going to be given to them. And anybody else on the earth, and that could be their curse. No rain, which is going to bring on famine. These are the living words of Yah. Showing that the feast is going to be read to it, and everybody must come up to. And the world must come up to. At that time. The feast before Yah and Yah Shalom. These are the words of Yah, brother and, and, and sisters. I'm only going to give you the words of God, Yah. I'm not going to shoot, quote, not one of the words of Yah. 
Because in the book of Daniel, you can see the one, the Catholic Church, the ones that with the Greeks uh, formulated this New Testament, that some people say the Piso family formulated this, a Rome, but it got also Greek written all over with Zeus, Zeus, the sun god worship, to get you worship the sun. And that's why some of your traders say the sun god. The son of God. So you get you the sun god worship, brothers and sisters, once again. This, even uh, in, the, in the prophet book, then I are playing the in 7.25, the one that war against Yah, the little horn, that uh, speak great swelling word that profane the name of Yah. That war against the Kodesh people of Yah, the Hebrew people of Yah, to, uh, to think, see, to, to think, to get you to think in your mind that I've got to change his law. I've got to never change the law of the atonement. The animal offering. He just stopped it for a period of time because on earth, because he had to punish the people that was in charge of it, the priest, to carry it out, the high priest to carry out this atonement. Yes, and that's why because they defiled the altar. That's why the altar got to be, we got to go back home and rebuild the altar, rebuild the temple, the third temple. All of this stuff got to be rededicated back to Yah. And at the end of chapter 43 in Ezekiel, you tell you, then I'll be able to say he's going to accept us back to him, which make us unify with him, to be atoned back to him. After all these things be re atoned because our answer left all these things in a defiled state. And when they got destroyed, they got destroyed in a defiled state. So to get back in the right state of y'all, all of this stuff got to be re established again, brothers and sisters. I'm making it simple as possible to you. You got to understand the ways of Yah and the history of our people. The last history of our people was putting out of that land and everything got left, the land and included, left in a defiled state. All of this got to be re-established back in the right state. That's why I'll be say the, the new covenant renewed is not new, but it's the re same old covenant laws got to be renewed to us. This time, even in our hearts and in our minds, they're going to be renewed forever. That we will not sin against Yah. He said, he's going to put my laws in your heart, in your mind. Where you have this great passion for it. Not to never break it. I'm showing you, he's just going to show you the one that was going to do this. That was going to bring that, how they did it. They did it by putting it in the book. And made, and made a book and compiled and put it together. They put the words of Yah together with the falsehood. They build a story around it to make it so believable, more acceptable. So while they got you in slavery, you had hope that this one is going to come and deliver you and save you. And you believe one atone for your sins. So that's the, the belief, the lie they get you to believe. And you don't see that the laws they saying the laws, all your laws are done away with, but now there's one you wait for to, to come to save you. It took me over 2,000 years ago, why they keep, but they know, with t thinking that way, you will never have no salvation, but death, because you will, you will, relay, you will remain under their teachings of the lie. And while you are hoping and you enjoy yourself, the punishment, enjoy the, uh, uh, the persecution they're putting on you, You'll be content because you're thinking somebody coming to save you that died for your sins to make atonement to Yah. But that's not even all your words, brothers and sisters. I'll show you plainly that did in the words of Yah. He said, He will defy the Most High. See, speak against all your great words against Yah, a great opposer against Yah. Even, even use the same text and mix in. And that's why they call it the New Testament. The new, the new agreement. And that's why you uh, people go out and they go out and, and say, in the name of, of, of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yahushua, you go before Yah. That's further from the truth, brothers and sisters. When you read the prophet, I'll be honest, say, when we turn back unto him, and confess our ancestors' sins and our sins. He said, then he will remember that land. 
and bring us back home and clean us up. We can't be clean in captivity. We can't be clean without having atonement to Yah, a true atonement. The altar got to be atoned for. The priest got to be atoned for. The Zadok priest, brothers and sisters, I tell you plainly, the son of Zadok got to be atoned for to make a um to make an offering of atonement for us, an animal offering to be atoned. Everything will be reinstated, brothers and sisters. That's why the third temple. I'm going to come and take and set my temple among you forever. He said, even the east gate that he go out of should be closed. And nobody can enter into it through that way. And if anybody attempt to try to, they would die. And then he said, only the Zadok the priest could eat in the court there. And that's it. Only a certain type of, pre of the Zadok priest would be allowed to go and, and minister before Yah. And come before Yah. Over the Kodesh things of Yah. This is how I really get, brothers and sisters. That's why I tell Israel like her in love. That's why I tell people, you quote all these scriptures, but if they're not right and line up with every words of Yah, I don't hear them. I, y'all don't even hear them. Only thing I tell you, brothers, you do the same thing what this little horn taught us to do. Yes, I was under that trap, and I was teaching it. But when my eyes got awoken to these things, but I fastly changed. And I saw the words of Yah plainly. And I saw how the uh, tome was going to be done again. And then all of y'all showed me this today, how the little horn is the one that try to get you to forget about all of y'all laws. Yes, that's why I like, I like when you say somebody, a, a, a man came to die, you forget all your laws and prophecies when he said his words. That he said, this is going to be read instituted again. You got to understand, brothers and sisters, our ancestors left all of this in a defiled state. And from that time, I'll be out to told the prophets, I'm going to punish them. I'm not going to accept their prayers. I'm not even going to accept even a prophet try to pray for them. Nobody prays it. It's imminent. They're going to wait for punishment. He said, oh, two thirds are going to be destroyed. And only one third will go through the fire. And then I'm going to bring them out and clean them. Only all of y'all will clean it. see? Tell me, if all of y'all say he's going to clean you, no other man ain't going to send nobody else to come to clean you. That's why I'm here today to tell you about the words of y'all and tell all of y'all told us we got to go. My next video is going to show you plainly how we going to get back home and how we getting out of America and all, the, all these other lands. All of y'all is not physically coming. His words tell us how we going to get how and by whom? No way would not see all of y'all physically here. No until all of y'all say in the wilderness, he said he gonna meet us face to face in the wilderness, brothers and sisters. I did that. See my video after you see my next video called the Kodesh Highway. Brothers and sisters. And I gave you more than enough facts and proof and evidence to show you the living words of y'all. With that, that's all I have to say in this video. Watch my next video. Shalom.